In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Ferris wheel optical illusion as seen in the Hello World program computer science series. So to begin, open a new document in Inkscape and select the Draw Bezier Curves tool on the left. We'll start with one of the carriages from the Ferris wheel. To draw this, we'll merge two different trapezoid shapes. So start by drawing the main trapezoid. Click anywhere in the canvas and hold control to make the line snap into position. And then draw the first line any length that you would like. And still holding control, we can snap into different angles. Continue holding control to get a straight edge on the bottom. And then to close the shape, simply click on the first point. Now we'll add the seat back to the carriage. Create another trapezoid that slightly overlaps the first one. So again, holding control to get straight angles. And it doesn't matter if this bottom part is even, because once we finish this shape, we will merge these two shapes together. So to do that, select the selection tool from the toolbar on the left, and select both items. Then from the menu on the top, select Path and Union. Now this is one shape instead of two, but it still doesn't quite look like a Ferris wheel carriage. To cut the circle out of the front, let's select the circle shape from the toolbar on the left, and holding Shift and Control, we can create a sort of constrained circle and position it where we want it to be cut out of this carriage shape. Now with the circles selected, hold the shift key and select the carriage shape. Then go to path and difference. And that looks pretty good for our carriage. With our carriage shape still selected, find the fill and stroke panel on the right and select the stroke tab and disable the stroke. Then select the Fill tab and give it a flat solid color of your choosing. With our carriage selected, press Ctrl D or right click on the shape and select Duplicate to make a copy. Change this color to completely white. Then with the shape still selected, use the arrow keys to slightly offset the shape to the left. Up at the top of Inkscape are some controls for changing the order of our shapes. So with that white shape selected, click the lower selection to bottom button. Now select the purple shape again and duplicate this shape as well. Change the color to completely black and change the fill type to linear gradient. Select the Gradient Edit tool on the left. This will allow us to change the size and position of our gradient. So in this case, we want it to be black on the far right side and clear on the far left side. Return to the Selection tool and use the arrow keys to slightly offset this shape to the right. Select all three layers and press Ctrl G to group them into one object. Now select the rectangle tool from the toolbar on the left. This will be the post, so simply drag out a shape of any length that you want. If you didn't get it exactly, you can use the selection tool to change the width and height of your post. So something about like that looks good to me. Now in the fill and stroke panel on the right, use the eyedropper to select the purple color from the carriage. Send the purple post to the bottom layer. With the post still selected, duplicate it, change the color to white, offset to the left, and send to the bottom layer. Select the purple post again, Duplicate it, change the color to black, offset to the right, 
and send to the bottom layer. Now select all of the shapes and group them into one object with Ctrl G. With our grouped carriage seat and post selected, click on the object again to enter rotate mode. Right now the point of origin is in the center of the object, so rotating it will rotate it around that point. But to be able to duplicate these seats and position them easily around the ferris wheel, we need to move this origin point above our post, roughly where we expect the center of the ferris wheel to be. And now we can duplicate our shape with Control D, and holding Control and clicking on one of these rotate corners, we can snap a seat around the ferris wheel. So continue duplicating the shape and rotating it to fill in the ferris wheel. Remember to hold control to snap the ferris wheel into place. And there we have the basic structure of our ferris wheel, but we need to add a wheel to the center and posts to support our structure. So first, press Ctrl A to select everything, and then press Ctrl G to group them into one object. Now select the circle tool and click roughly in the center and hold Ctrl and Shift to constrain the shape to a perfect circle and resize from the center and just drag out a shape that roughly covers the center posts. Change the color to something other than the color of the seats. In my case, I'm going to choose a bluish color. Now change the fill type to a radial gradient. With the blue gradient selected, click on the Edit Gradient button. Select the transparent color, and in the Fill dialog, change this alpha to 255, and change the outside color to something slightly darker. Select the top color again and change it to something slightly lighter. To make sure our circle is directly in the center of our ferris wheel, select both the new circle shape and the ferris wheel by holding the shift key and clicking. Now open the Align and Distribute panel, or go to Object, Align and Distribute to open the panel, and click on the Center to Vertical Axis, then click on the Center on Horizontal Axis. And our circle is perfectly in the middle of our ferris wheel. To make legs to support our structure, we'll use the Rectangle tool again. So roughly drag out a shape that you would like to use for the width and height of your shape, going from about the center of our circle shape. Position the rectangle close to the edge and center of the circle shape. Then under Path, select Object to Path and select the Edit Path by Nodes tool. We will select these bottom two nodes of our leg. And then using the arrow keys plus the Shift key, we can quickly move those points off to the right. So something about like that looks good. But let's also give this shape a gradient. So with our selection tool again, navigate to the Fill and Stroke panel, and change the color to a linear gradient. 
and we can use the same gradient that we use for our circle. But we want to flip the direction of that, so again, select the Edit Gradient tool, and position this so that the darker part appears towards the center of the circle, and the lighter part appears towards the bottom of the leg. And again, with our selection tool, we will move this to the bottom layer. And with the shape still selected, press Ctrl D to duplicate. Also among the tools along the top of the program are flip horizontally and vertical tools. So we will flip this object horizontally. And then holding the Ctrl key, we can drag this shape along and align it perfectly with our other leg and again, move that object to the back. And there we have our Ferris wheel. For one finishing touch, we could add a shadow underneath the structure. So select the circle tool, and again, holding shift to scale from the center, drag out a shape that roughly covers our Ferris wheel structure. Now change the color of this shape to black and drag up the blur slider to roughly 10% and drag the opacity down. And of course, with our selection tool, move that shape to the bottom and adjust the position as necessary. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us on www.dototot.com. Thank you.